Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big boy's getting a water change. Man, look at these guys going at it. So, we are here at the spot. Greetings, everybody. This is Paul the Inventory King. Hope you guys are all having an awesome day and enjoying your fish. If you guys can click the subscribe button and the notification bell, I would be honored for you guys to join me on my fish keeping adventures by subscribing. So we're filling up the predator tank right now. We're doing a water change. Now, I'm gonna show you something that I found out that has made the pipes in my home stay safe, helps me drain the tank quicker. Are you ready to see it? So, we are here at the spot. So one of the nice features about doing it like, for one, it creates great suction. So you're gonna be able to, you know, pull a lot of sand up at once with this big wand. Now, disclaimer, there can be gases trapped in the sand. So um, do at your own risk. I've always been okay with it, but uh, just a heads up. Now, when you're doing this, obviously there's gonna be times where the sand is gonna make it past the wand and it's going to get into your sink now if you were doing this in your house and you're getting sand down your main plumbing in your home there's a chance that that could clog up your drains and start causing you big time problems so if you do it this way not only do you get great pressure but all the sand goes outside if any gets through the wand Right there. So what I like to do is I hook up the python to my outside faucet. And here's why. Faucets on the outside typically have bigger pipe, which means they're gonna have faster water flow, which means faster draining. Look at all of this sand that came out of the tank. Now imagine if this was all in your pipes in your home, in the your drain system in your home. After time, this can cause a problem. So by doing it outside like this, you have faster water flow, helps clean the sand better, and you don't get sand in your pipes in your home. Yeah, 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 the big boy's getting a water change. Man, look at these guys going at it. The Leptur is green and the Rotosai yellow, the Juvie's in all right, here. So all we need to do is have this hooked up, flip it on. So as you can see here, it is on the outside spigot. You can see that the sand that came out of the tank is here. All right, so water change is done. Gotta wait for the micro bubbles to come off of the acrylic. But let's get a close look at the boys here. Looking awesome. Looking awesome. Yeah, there you go, man. Take the bubbles off. Take the bubbles off. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Yeah, take those bubbles off, dude. <laughs> so yeah, the boys are looking good. Settling in after the big water change. And uh, can't wait for the bu bubbles to go away. That'll make a big difference here in the tank. So what did you guys think of that? I think it's awesome. It works great for me. Hopefully it's something that'll work great for you. Hopefully you have something close. So a couple things to keep in mind. The shorter the hose, the quicker the water is going to leave the tank. And um, disclaimer, there can be gas bubbles trapped inside the sand. So be careful when you're doing that. But this right here has made a big difference. Helps keep the sand out of the pipes in my home. Wanted to share all that with you guys. In the comments down below, what do you guys think of um, this little hack? What do, you guys, what do you guys think? Do you do it? Are you gonna start doing it? Let's talk about it in those comments down below. If you guys could like the video, that would be awesome. And I'd be honored if you guys can click the subscribe button and the notification bell and join me on my fish keeping adventures by subscribing. Everybody, I hope you're enjoying your fish. Stay tanked.